Hey, it is D with Divine Needle and Divine L. And this reading is for the collective. Hope you all are feeling a little calmer energy now that we've gotten um, on the other side of that second Aquarius blue moon. And I hope that, um, yeah, that things are looking up a bit. Um, but the face-off continues. I do know that. I feel like this is um, people working out past problems that weren't resolved. Um, and trying to bring those things to completion. A lot of it's shadow work. Some of it's um, people um, dealing with people that you haven't had... Um, Contact was in a while, in some cases, right? <sighs> anyway, I, do, I haven't done a results video for the last one because we don't know what the results of that are yet. Um, sometimes news out of uh, other countries can take a day or two. So I'll let you know. Um, it was pretty specific, so... Um, ah, yes. But uh, the face-off still continues. A lot of truth is being exposed because Aquarius is about the swords. Truth and clarity. The sword of destiny. And so a lot of crap is being exposed right now. If you pay any attention to the news at all. Remember, I'm trying to teach people how to uh, discern what they're actually seeing. Anyway, so we're going to take a look at the energy for, um, let's see, the 25th, August 25th and 26th, so that's Thursday. Maybe I should just, hmm, I'm going to just do one day. No wonder they only called me, called me to bring up one of the tarot decks. So, <clears throat> we're just going to do the energy for the 25th tomorrow, okay? So, we'll get into that. Um, the Sabian Mysteries picture is, um, for tomorrow, is two angels bringing protection. And when I was looking at it, um, I kind of heard it is what it is, but it looks like there's more than just two. There's some smaller ones. But it was interesting because one of them has their arms out, a lot like what Gabriel did to me when I saw him in full manifestation. Like, honey, I'm home, you know? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so um, that's the Sabian Mysteries picture. And um, there is a star, interestingly. Here, I'll just switch over so you guys can see this. There you go. There's stars above their heads. Lit up. See how the one has its arms out? Outstretched, yeah. So, anyway, we'll see what, what that... I'm not really... Um, Picking up on anything in particular, except for maybe, I mean, I've got two of them, you know, you hear a lot of other people that work with one particular one or something, I've got two. Uh, it's interesting because you always see the cartoons with the angel on one side and the devil on the other. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I got going on. Anyway, so... Let's do the reading and see how this looks for tomorrow. Um, they called me to pull a deck that I don't use because it belongs to my husband. It's one he wanted, and when he got it, I was like, oh, I love that deck. But it was funny because I was getting ready to do the reading, and I'm like, what? You want me to get one of his decks? And I went over there, and yep, that was the one they wanted. I'm like, okay. <laughs> We'll go with it. Anyway, we'll find out. 
for the collective. All right, for tomorrow, the 25th. Wednesday. No. Yeah. I want to do two days. What am I thinking? Wednesday the 25th and Thursday the 26th. We are going to do two. All right. So let's get into this. So for the collective, what can they expect? What can they expect? Overall energy for the collective tomorrow. Okay. <clears throat> stay strong. So a message to everyone. Stay strong. All right. <clears throat> so um, the face-off continues. <laughs> That's what that tells me. Is this the deck we want? Yes, yes, yes. It is the deck we want. For the collective, for tomorrow, Wednesday, the 25th, what can they expect? <sighs> Overall energy. Overall energy for the collective, please. Overall energy. <sighs> I just heard slow down and breathe. Okay. Energy for the collective. Overall energy for the collective. Sometimes it takes a while for them to first come out um, because. Uh, they want to get the whole deck in a certain stack. Okay. Overall energy, the keeper, pool card, and the burdened one. Whew, stay strong. Okay. Something's up with tomorrow. That's going to require some tenacity, evidently. What's the highest priority for tomorrow, please? For the collective, that was strange. That was very strange. <laughs> like, those just shuffled. Wow. And an emperor in reverse. Did you see how that landed up there? Wowza. Okay. Highest priority. Why aren't we focused? There we go. Hmm. <laughs> All right. And what does the collective need to be mindful of and or prepare for for tomorrow? What does the collective need to be mindful of and or prepare for tomorrow? Progress. <clears throat> okay. Underlying. The angel. Is temperance. I'm going to go ahead and move these over like this. Well, okay. Whew. Okay, let's get into that energy and figure out what's going on for the collective. What are is my team and <sighs> trying to tell me here? Underlying energy, temperance, basically. Key fourteen, the angel card, temperance card. A divine higher genius. It's interesting because there's a prophecy about the divine higher genius. Part of Sagittarius. Um, this is basically patience. Um, you know, the 
this is a lot like the stay strong is a lot like the strength card, right? Um, and right beneath that we have the erudite, which is the hermit card, key nine, hermit of the mysteries, and the healer, that's the star card right under that, and the truth, wish fulfillment. Patience, wisdom, healing, truth, Queen of Cups, wearing our hearts on our shield, or on our, <laughs> our hearts on our shield. <laughs> That's the shield. That's a symbol of protection. The, um, African uh, Muzidi, symbol of protection, right there. There's two angels protecting, right? The Sabian Mysteries picture. Wow. And we literally have two angels right there. Okay. <clears throat> So that's the underlying. Patience and strength. Then we have um, our overall energy. The keeper, spirit and petition of spirit. Um, so what this feels like to me is you all... Um, Petitioning your teams, those of you that work with teams like I do, or a single one, whatever, whatever is your, um, your team composition. Um, this can mean work, <clears throat> teams, right? Um, on the microcosm, but on the macrocosm, it's petitioning spirit. Your higher self, your team, <clears throat> and the burden one, ten of scepters. Are you unduly carrying the burden of someone else? <sighs> Is this a divine trial or a divine assistance? So something is going to happen tomorrow that is going to require you to really be tapped into your team. Okay. Highest priority. <clears throat> Holy water. Ace of chalices, the purifying. This will cleanse away past hurts, I heard. There's the past hurts. The dance of Kali. Stick a fork in me. I'm done. <sighs> oh, more water events, really? <sighs> see, see all those swords? See all these streams coming down? It's like these are sticking down into the fountain. Hmm. The Vagabond, Five of Orbs, feeling left out in the cold. <sighs> they could go into the church. You know, the, the traditional card has two people walking through the snow. And in this card, it's yourself and your shadow side. Um, I 
Hmm. Oh, something I do want to point out. Um, and this is reminding me of that because we have a crescent moon at the top. See that crescent moon at the top? Sword sticking down through a temple. <sighs> a temple. The water can signify water or snow. Um, water and snow are the same thing, just different temperatures, right? <sighs> and an emperor upside down. See, this is... um. Feels like a continuation of the reading I did, like the avalanche reading. It's funny because after I did that reading, um, I kept being drawn to a Muslim temple. And somebody mentioned in the comments that I Pet Goat has a Muslim temple being destroyed in it. And I went back and looked at it, and it wasn't due to an avalanche, it was due to a missile. The fall of an emperor. Remember, I said it was some sort of leader. Maybe in a mosque? That moon up here in the swords. Highest priority. Wow. See, that's the emperor. Stick a fork in me, I'm done. See, that's like a ghost. I don't know. A commander. A falling commander. Commander of intellections. Mm. What to be mindful of, prepare for the shining quarry, wild and fertile land. This is the Knight of Pentacles. This one moves forward slowly. Slowly, slow forward movement. Steady as she goes, right? Why is our emperor so obviously upside down? Why is the emperor so obviously upside down? Because of the truth. Emperor is part of Aries. Um, what was the truth? Chariot. The truth. 
truth about some sort of, um, well, the chariot is a vehicle. It can be a trip, it can be movement. Why is holy water here? <clears throat> Knight of Cups, King of Swords. Knight of Cups. There's the cup. Coming towards the King of Swords. Card of Aquarius. I have a couple of cards of Aquarius here. A healer card. So some sort of um, offer. Why is the destroyer here? The Hierophant. Structure, structure. Two keys. That clarifies the destroyer. Hierophant card of Taurus. Um so a Taurus that's had enough. On the microcosm, think what that would be like. Um, Who is feeling left out in the cold? Who's feeling left out in the cold? The vagabond. Who? Who's feeling left out in the cold? Who? The Page of Cups. So maybe um, this offer Ooh, okay. <clears throat> See the jet flying around in the background here. Um, some sort of leadership issue going on here. And one refuses the other, and the other cuts loose on them. Um, maybe that's why we got led to Ipet Goat and the Muslim Temple being destroyed. Um, this could be what this is talking about. Um, I did see, because um, I've been kind of keeping an eye on Azazurban and Armenia. Um, the reason Armenia is because I noticed in their news that there's some troubles between those two. And...
an offer gets the truth and movement why else why else is this emperor upside down why else why is he upside down why else is this emperor upside down five of cups too much focus on the past and not enough on the present oh that isn't good so a uh, past skirmishes possibly is why the offer got rejected and that page of cups is coming for them. See the Hierophant, um, it can represent, this is a scientist, an intellectual, this king. Um, he plays hardball. Um, it feels like he made an offer to a Hierophant to someone, um, a spiritual leader of some sort. This spiritual leader, I have a feeling, is the one on the ground. He's the one on the ground, laying on the ground. The dance of Kali. What? Okay, I wasn't expecting this. Um, I thought we were just going to go into a regular nice microcosm reading. Stay strong. <sighs> Patience. Wisdom to guide others. And healing. <sighs> and feeling burdened. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, let's see what this, um, I just heard troop movement when I started to get ready to do this card because I was going to clarify. <sighs> clarify the Shining Quarry, what we need to be mindful of and or prepare for. Healing. Wish fulfillment. <sighs> Anything else on the Shining Quarry? Anything else further? <sighs> Patience again. See? They're repeating cards. That means we need to pay attention. They do just want me to do one day. Well, there we go. There's our day. I'm gonna pull it down since we have room. We have this holy water. <sighs> the dance of Kali happening. I'm gonna pull these out this way so that you can see this guy's this guy at the bottom. Offer got rejected. Offer got rejected. This offer. And that in turn caused an emperor in reverse. This one, I think. One of these two. 
It's this one. So a very strategic person Wow. No longer a leader, a fallen commander. <sighs> and he's fallen because a sort of destiny. Um, truth, clarity, truth movement, that's what I keep hearing. Past regrets. Regrets about the past. Okay, on the microcosm, this is simply a situation where somebody's unable to fulfill a promise because there's some sort of move dealing with their past, some sort of move, maybe trip coming up. And which causes much slower progress than expected, but there will be wish fulfillment and uh, just have patience, okay? Um, but for what um, it feels like this leader. It's their wish. Because they're moving forward no matter what. Um, they have that, the patience for the game. <sighs> I'm just looking to see if they give me anything visually. I just keep saying what looks like a tower, <clears throat> indicating maybe a tower moment of some sort. Anyway, the angels are watching over this whole situation, and it is, you know, that Ace of Swords came out a couple of times, the star card. And the Temperance card are both out twice. There's the Protection. Justice. Lady Justice card of um, Libra. Okay. <sighs> mm. All right. So I'm going to call that it. We're just doing the 25th right now. That's it. 
Um, Something about the fallen leader. Remember, it was in the last uh, reading too, for the uh, today for the twenty fourth. It's going to cause a fallen leader. <sighs> anyway, I guess we'll see what happens. Um. Do you want anything from this? Nope. Okay. So no, it is. All right. So uh, keep that in mind on the microcosm, what it means. Um, some sort of rejection. And you need to stay strong. Be patient. Um, there will be forward movement kind of thing. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> remember, the angels are watching over. There's two of them. Mm -hmm. So hang in there, guys. Have a very, very good 25th Wednesday. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I pet goat. Not kidding. Anyway, talk to you later. And thanks for bringing that up, by the way, because I had totally forgotten about the um, Muslim temple being destroyed. Anyway, thanks. <laughs>